No, I looked it up. Yeah. I was like, I should bring my bathing suit. But since people actually, what floor are we on? Since people actually in the pool, I might go buy a bathing suit tomorrow. excited to be getting ready for this weekend getaway. Adrian said that it's going to be dinner involved. We got an event that we're going to that I've never been to, but it is on my bucket list to go to this type of event. So I'm excited about that. So with all of that in mind, it's a couple of things I need to pick up from the store. I think that's it. But right now I'm about to go get some gas. <laughs> So today is get ready to go on the trip day. I have a few things I need to do to try to get ready. Hopefully I can get all of them done today because it's today or it's never because we're hitting the road tomorrow and that's that. I'm probably gonna go in there and try to make like a little sandwich or something and just give myself a little fuel so that I could do all of the stuff that I need to do. Listen, when I tell you I looked out at City Trends, so anytime I'm going on a trip, I like to, don't touch, don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. I like to go to like the little cheap store, see if I can find some little throwaway clothes. And I found just that. The first thing I got was this little red purse, but I needed like a little red something because I be feeling like sometimes my outfits needs like a pop of color and I don't be having no pops of color. I paid $12.99 for this. Then I found this jacket right here. It's a jean jacket that looks like it's a vest with the hoodie underneath. I stopped touching the stuff, Trey. You keep touching the tripod. I was really geeked about this and it fits really good. I think I paid $20 for this. Next thing I found was this little tank and it's not crop cropped, but it is like shortcut, real stretchy. Then I found this two piece set. This is a skirt, like a black skirt. And then it has the matching black crop tank. However, you know, when you buy two piece set, you don't have to wear it as crop. I'll just hike it up high because I'm not a fan of having my stomach out. <laughs> you know, maybe a little peekaboo on the midriff, but like straight up crop, belly hanging, mm-mm, not a fan, not me. So that's just a little set. Then I found a pair of khaki cargos, and I don't usually wear khaki color any, Yo, my hair is way too big. I don't usually wear khaki color anything or khaki pants, but I really, really like this color. And I saw it with the green shirt and my Jordan. So I thought that would be a cute casual outfit. And they are uh, cinched at, stop Trey. They are cinched at the ankle. Next thing I found were these blue pants. They're pleated, I don't know, they're like, he pleated repeatedly and they're flowy. Looking like a little, see yeah, not not too much see-through cause they're blue. So you could get away with whatever. Very, very pretty blue. And then last but not least, I found this nude dress. And I saw this with the jean jacket with the Jordans as well. What's this extra layering? It's like double layer. I can't really explain it, but it doesn't have a slit, but it has this at the bottom. Let me show you. So it's like a, high low situation but it's close to the bottom so other than that i just found this little lamp for trey's room because he doesn't have a lamp in his room i thought this was cute i only paid five dollars for this i like that it's see-through and then khaleesi got her a baby doll i gotta make sure all this stuff fits and then lay it out so that i can get it ready for the suitcase
Oh, I like them light fixtures. That's a pretty big TV. For the room? No, I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 no. Has your name. Do you like that? I like that. I'm saying I feel like it's big for the room. I don't think the TVs be that big usually. Cause it usually just be like an old TV, you know what I mean? Columbus and now we're about to go to this restaurant called my Bella's nice little nightlife they got going on here so Italian steakhouse and I just need to smile mm. Great. What did you get? Uh, steak frites. Steak frites? Yeah. Okay. Steak and fries. Okay. Is, this, is that French? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I got uh, stuffed mushrooms. They came with a four ounce something. Stuffed ravioli. Ravioli. Stuffed, filet. stuffed. They were stuffed with mushrooms. Yes. Yes, and it came with the four ounce filet. Mm -hmm. It was really good. I'm really full. So we're about to hit this other spot. So Adrian, mm -hmm. what are your initial thoughts of Columbus, Georgia downtown? You like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's not like big like Pensacola. Yeah, but it's good though. It's chill? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It's like enough places to eat downtown. There's enough people too. It's not like overly crowded, but I don't know what it's gonna be like Saturday. I'm up way too late. It's like midnight, 11 o'clock our time, 12 o'clock Georgia time. Mm. Shower in bed. <laughs> breakfast at the hotel however like we are downtown downtown so you walk outside and there's cafes everywhere so i'd rather go try that coffee in that breakfast we went to this place called the iron cafe i think while we were out last night people were in there you know studying on their computer doing whatever they do look pretty nice i think i'm gonna go with a grilled cheese maybe because i was looking at the breakfast sandwiches but i'm gonna get a little fancy maybe add some avocado some tomato you know razzle dazzle so i'm gonna do a little get ready with me because i plan to put on just like a little tiny face <laughs>
right, y'all, so it's the next day. Adrian and I are up and at it, and we are about to head to this place called Iron Cafe to get a bite to eat and some coffee. I got a grilled cheese with white cheddar and Swiss on sourdough bread and tomato and avocado. Adrian got a bagel with sausage and egg on it. And then we got these coffees. I forgot what this is called. Really good. It's like nothing I've had before. And now we're walking towards the Bo Bar Bartlett's. Is it Bo Bartlett? And there's like a gallery, an art gallery of sorts that we're gonna go check out that opens at 11. It's on the college campus. Columbus State University. It's some people yelling and stuff up here. Looks like they're running a marathon. Mar no, it was like a 5K or something, not a marathon. I don't know, it might be. So we found a place that we wanna go, but it does not open for another like 15, 20 minutes. So we're just kind of exploring right now. This is Columbus State University still, I guess. It's all scattered throughout the city. So I wonder why this is here though. People come here and take pictures or something, have events maybe. Oh, it's a convention center. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess this is where the... What's that? Oh, cool. That's the um, camera. You know what? We should just buy one of those. I'm telling you, they do. This is beautiful. This is going to be a nice prom. Really? I didn't know you could just walk in here. Did you know that?
expressions because the first one you come in, you see like this dude right here. At first, I thought it was a crumb, but now I'm not so sure. Then look at her up there. His, his thing, he, he got some good facial expressions in his work. This is Bo's brain. This is the, the guy the center is named after. I'm assuming these are all his works. Is that supposed to be Jesus? Ooh, I like that. It says, when I see something, I can think what it is, what it's made of, what color it is, where it came from, how light and dark it is, how the light is hitting it, affecting it, but I can't impose any pre-described belief onto it. I must distinguish between fact and belief. That's kind of deep. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Obama. He looked different. <laughs> I actually like this. This is called Utility Pole. Crystal table where I still rise walnut wood. I love this. If, if you could put lights behind it, I don't know what this is. And it's got rugs on the floor. Is this the art, the rugs? These are lit. Now this is clever. It's like yarn. I'm impressed. Putting that hair in a ponytail. This 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 is impressive. I've never seen nothing like this. Can I? Are you allowed to walk through here? I, I have a little issue with abstract stuff, but this is different because I I don't feel like I could do this. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when it just look like paint splatter, I'd be like, what are we doing? But like, I don't know how she made it seem like it's like ghosts. Cause it's giving ghosts to me. This is very emo to me. Tempestuous, what's that mean? <sighs> that person, I probably don't want to hang out with Alexis McGrig. She probably get on my nerves. See now this is, I have issue with this because we doing cutting and pasting. That's what it looks like. I know it's painting. It's paper. Thank you. It's it's paint on paper. I will I will go home and make this right now. With the Mickey Mouse hand, why? Yep, not a fan. I gotta read the rest of this. I read all that and I'm just trying to figure out why he wanted to paint himself as, but I'm gonna paint myself as white. I wanna see what that come out like. On Damascus Road, Saul of Terrors experienced a conversion to Christianity on his way to be Christianity on his way to becoming a principal probably. You know, he do a lot of religious stuff. No, I just knew what the name was. You did you know what it, it was a comb when you first seen it? When I saw subtle oppression, I knew it was a comb. Okay, so how does this represent subtle oppression? Because old kid, your hair brushed, your hair comb. Mm-hmm. 
to the image of the beauty standard of your oppressor. Mm, that's, ooh, that's deep then. Well, I get it now because this was my least favorite. <laughs> so I will say the art gallery was very entertaining to me. Go figure the piece I did not like in part because I did not understand it right away was Adria's favorite part. Oh, it's only card axes. Hey, I wish I could get up in there. Not the cup of noodles. <laughs> So now we're headed to the infamous river walk of Columbus, Georgia. I'm excited to see this. It's a big attraction for this town. And there's some milkshake place. I wanna say something about the country or something like that. I forgot the name of it. But um, has these really, really intense milkshakes that I wanna try. This is a prime reason. Move right into the eye. Y'all, we made it to the mall. The only thing I'm looking for is sneakers. I'm probably gonna get some, just some black and white dunks. And then I saw some other sneakers that I like, but we're just kind of shopping. Wanna go in here? Square teeth, you got 
what you about to listen to. All right, y'all. So, Adrian got a new fresh hoodie. Go ahead, show us the hoodie, Adrian. <laughs> we are getting ready to head. You said the Columbus Civic Center? We're getting ready to head there. I'm excited. We just ate food. Did you like the food? Yeah, it was pretty good. But the burgers were 10 ounces. Insane. We split it and had some nachos. up on the block. Bruh. Oh man, we wait here for our, what, we got an Uber? Yeah, yeah we waiting for our Uber. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> I was trying to say that I really, really enjoyed the hockey game. I think I'm locked in. Because yeah. I was watching it on TV not that long ago and I was very entertained. It's very fast paced. The only thing I don't like is the two intermissions. Mm. I feel like they take really, really long. I know, but I don't even understand because he gets shaved or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got to do that every time. Gotta resurface, yeah. It's too much. But other than that, it was lit. Back at the hotel. When I tell you I'm so tired, <laughs> it's been a long time since I walked that much. But I had a blast at the hockey game. I might be locked in. Now, Adrian and I are about to eat some pizza and some wings. And I got a cinnamon. I'm gonna try to watch a, a Netflix movie because we in for the night. Seems like the Riff Raff come out on Saturdays, so can't do it.
All right, y'all, so we are getting ready to go home, but you cannot leave a place without going to their TJ Maxx. So we're about to pop in here real quick, see what they got. We actually just got through with breakfast, and then we're gonna hit the road. Loving your vibe, girl. That energy got me going. Yeah, that thing's so vibrant. Well, as you can see, we have made it back home, y'all. So I just want to say thank you for rocking with me for this weekend getaway. And until next time, people, peace. Yeah, stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gun play. Oh my, yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like.